Hi, I'm Pamela Straub and I design mixed containers for Emerald Coast Growers. for me in particular is very intuitive. It's a difficult thing to sort of um, break down and give you an exact science or an exact equation. But the way to do it is, is to surround yourself with the plant material or just be around plants that you like. Um, I love I love getting out to the greenhouse. I think of it as uh, my artist studio, if you will. And I get out there and I, I let a particular flower inspire me, whether it's the shape of the flower or the color. Um, or its relationship to another plant next to it, and I let that inspire me. I'm a big fan of monochromatic color. I, I like a modern aesthetic, typically, and I think oftentimes you think of modern, you think of cold and stark, and, and I don't think it has to be that way. Um, I, I think you look at those pots and you think, okay, this can have a modern aesthetic, but it's still very inviting, it's warm, it's playful, um, and you can achieve both those things, I think, at the same time. So with that pot, with the Alcea Purple and the Penicetum Fireworks, the colors work really well together, the, the textures of the leaves, really nice um, contrast, it adds a, a bit of a, a whimsical flair, if you will, which is really nice. Um, I also like that the color palette is very monochromatic, um, but still very vibrant and bright and eye-catching. It doesn't have to be bright, contrasting colors to achieve that. It's, a, it's achieving contrast in a not-so-expected way. One of the most interesting containers um, I think that I've done recently is the use of a very traditional, formal container. It's very stiff and upright, has a very traditional sense to it, and I liked it, but I didn't want to pair it with something that you would normally see, like a topiary or something very sculptured. So what I put in it was a grass, a Penicetum Fireworks. And I thought the, the way that the grass swayed and, and the form of it, of kind of an upright and arching growth habit, um, offered a really nice contrast. So there's a good example of using the container along with the plant material for contrast, not just the color of the flower or the um, color of foliage. Well, I like to challenge the idea of you can only achieve color with flowers. Even though flowers are wonderful and beautiful and everybody loves them and, and you of course want things flowering in your garden, but I like to ch challenge the idea that you don't have to only use flowers or rely strictly on flowers to achieve color. Um, there's, just think of the color green. You don't see very many green flowers, but green can evoke so many different effects and you can and there's so many shades of green, and, and you can use them all together, you can use them um, as a neutral or use them as a contrast with something else. Um, so green is a color, and, and it's important for people to treat it as such. The form of the plants mimics the shape of the pot, which is, I think, just really beautiful. And oftentimes you want to, you want to do that. You want to make sure that you choose the correct shape for the shapes of the grasses or the perennials or what plant material that you put in it. It's really important. Um, I think of the pot as a frame to a great piece of artwork. It has a utilitarian purpose, but it also is a great creative element that you can use. The Penicetum rubrum, which we've seen a million times. How many times have you seen a rubrum in a pot? So I paired it with the Sedum Vera Jameson, which is so interesting because the it almost, the, the penicetum almost mimics the way the sedum grows, which you wouldn't think it does because they're so different. But it's the same color palette, even the pot's the same color, but all together they have just a beautiful effect. 
There are generally two color families. There's the cool color family and a warm color family. And generally when you're thinking about warm colors, you think reds, oranges, and yellows, and cool, blues, greens, purples. But there are warm and cool versions of all color. And what you want to do is, or what I try to do anyways, is I try to incorporate all of, like, I try and keep all colors cool or all colors warm. I love panicums. I especially love panicum ruby ribbons. It's really a, a very versatile grass because you can use it as a standalone, but you can also use it in combination or as a backdrop for other perennials and grasses. I love that it's a grass and not a flowering perennial because that's a little bit uh, different and unexpected. And the cool hues of the blues and the metallics throughout the carex I think really highlights the, the coolness of the reds and the purples nicely. And then you throw in that echinacea and it's so sweet. The, the sweet little flowers with the pinks and the purples and the violets and again another texture. It's a really nice combination. The important thing about the combination with the Carex and the Panicum is don't be afraid to use more than one grass in the container. Don't always think of grasses being only a focal point because they can be complementary to one another and act as um, kind of a partnership in, in combinations. Uh, one thing that I like to do is, is be inspired by things that are relevant to my, my life at the time. And Dr. Seuss is a very popular character in my house right now. I have a toddler and um, we read a lot of Dr. Seuss. And one thing that I've noticed in, in my gardening, in my garden design in particular, there's a lot of Dr. Seuss type elements in it. It's very whimsical, playful, and you start looking at plant material and a lot of the newer varieties and they have that Dr. Seuss quality. And I think it's, it's important for people to derive inspiration for, from other places other than just the plant material. So I saw the teacups and I let the teacups inspire me. And I wanted to, I didn't want to overwhelm the teacup because it was already so bold and bright in color. So I wanted to put it with something that would have been a little bit more understated, but still impactful. And I thought the sedums really did that. It has really nice bold structure, um, interesting leaf texture with just a little hint of color. Um, and I thought it was a nice, a, a nice pairing. that's rewarding to me, is to create a combination in, in a container garden that inspires someone else to, to want to have it or to want to grow a plant um, and to want to do it themselves. That's, that's rewarding. Plant what you like. Uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to experiment. You can always take a plant out if you don't like it, if it doesn't work. So, what did you think of our video? Please send me your feedback and any suggestions or ideas you might have for more videos you'd like to see. And stay tuned.